Ephesians 1 verses 20 b 22, NKJV. And seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age but also in that which is to come. And he put all things under his feet, and gave him to be head over all things to the church. Yesterday, we talked about the ample supply of raise the dead power that you have. The one thing that has to come alongside power in order for it to be effective is authority. If you have power, but no authority, you really have nothing. The reason why so many people speak the word, the power, but it has no effect in their bodies, is because they lack knowledge of their authority. You can scream and shout all you want, but if you don't know your authority, the devil is going to say what he said to the seven sons of Siva, in Acts 19:15. Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? You can see from this verse, that after Jesus was raised from the dead, he was seated at the right hand of the Father, a symbol of authority, far above every demonic force. Sickness is a demonic force at work in the earth today, and Jesus was given authority over it. Here's the kicker, Ephesians 2 5-6 tells you that you were also raised with Christ and that you are now seated with him in that position of authority. This means that you have the same authority Jesus has over every principality and power and might and dominion. God gave you the power and now you have the authority to back it up. This may sound weird, but I want you to practice speaking with authority today. Speak with authority to your dog or to yourself in the mirror. Use different tones and different volumes. Get used to what you sound like, and let it resonate in your ears and in your mind. When you speak like this, your spirit man will begin to stir on the inside of you. You have the power, you have the authority, and now it's time to speak like you know it.